Welcome to Mosaic Portal for Parents. With Mosaic Portal for Parents, stay in touch with your child's school wherever you are and at all times. Find all the information you need to track your child's success all in one place, regardless of whether they are in elementary school or high school. Let's start with how to create your account. From a web browser, whether on your smartphone, tablet, or computer, go to the site portailparents.ca. Click on the link, create your account, and complete the requested fields. See the Help capsule to create your account by clicking on Connection Help. Enter the email and password associated with your Mosaic Portal account or use one of your social media accounts to sign in. Let's go see your home page. Your home page is made up of different parts. The currently selected child, the family icon to switch from one of your children to the other, the tile menu with red indicators that tell you new information is available. When you sign in, the messages section is automatically open. Let's see the content of each section of your portal. Be aware that your portal may not contain all nine possible tiles. The choice of tiles is set by your child's school. However, you will find these tiles for sure. Results, Record, Messages, and Resources. Let's start with the Schedule tile. If available, you will find your child's schedule, including detention, homework, and a printable version of their schedule. The main part shows the schedule for the week. If a detention is scheduled that week, it will be displayed in a red box. You will get more information about the detention by clicking on the box. When you click on an old date, you will be informed of the attendance or absence of your child at their detention. At the bottom, you will find the homework section. You will find some additional information by clicking on the assignment. Then further down, you will have the printable schedule. If available, the absences tile allows you to see your child's history of absences. If your child's school allows it, it is possible to justify absences and declare future absences. For each absence to be justified, you must select a reason from the school's choices, explain as needed, then click on the Submit button. For each planned absence, you must select a date, Select a type of absence and add the requested details as necessary. Select a reason from the school's choices. Explain as needed. Click on the Submit button. You can also see your child's absences and late arrivals in detail. You have information for the period and subject and the reason of absence. If the homework tile is available, see the list of homework and lessons for the week. Use the arrows to navigate from week to week. You can get more information about the assignment or lesson by clicking See All. The Results tile allows you to view the results of the activities and the ministerial results for the current school year. You can also access report cards for the current and previous years. When you click on the Results tile, you will automatically find yourself in the Results and Assignments section. An indicator will tell you if new results are available. The list of subjects allows you to see the number of assignments for each one. Click on a subject to view the results. A table summarizes your child's progress for the term. These are not the final results. Easily spot failed activities highlighted in red. Group averages will be displayed if they are made available. 
Ministerial results are made available by the Ministère de l'Éducation de l'Enseignement supérieur. They are usually available for two weeks in January, July, and August. Here you will find the report cards from the current and previous years in the PDF form. If available, the finances tile allows you to consult the school and daycare service statements and obtain your tax statements for childcare expenses. The account statements section groups together the school statements for school supplies and daycare in PDF form. When they are available, you'll have access to tax statements concerning the daycare costs of your child. The record tile groups together useful information about your child and their teachers. Let's go see more detail. Your child's personal information, such as date of birth, permanent code, and file number, is grouped together at the top of the file. If they are available, you will also find their group and the teacher responsible for their group. If your child has an individualized education plan developed with ISM, this is where it will be. The subject section is the one displayed by default by clicking on the record tile. There you will find a list of all the subjects your child has this year. You will also have access to a link allowing you to email teachers. Let's see the transport section. You will find complete information about your child's transportation. The bus number, the time, and the location. This is where the school will share important documents with you. The individualized education plan can also be found there if applicable. The contact information section allows you to view all the phone numbers in the file. You can modify them as needed by clicking on the modify button. Messages will be displayed like a news feed with the most recent at the top. They consist of publications from school staff and messages from the school board and the school. This is also where certain observations and interventions will be displayed, as well as any detention assigned to your child. Here is an example of a post made by a school staff member. This could be from a principal, a social worker, or a teacher. If you would like to contact this person, you can click on their name and send them an email. However, messages published by the school or the school board are not signed by a person. If your child is called to detention, you will receive the information through the messages style. The school also has the possibility of informing you of observations and interventions concerning your child. This type of message includes the description of the observation, or the intervention, the category, who wrote the information and when. Some additional information might also be available. The resources tile groups together general resources and resources that are shared by the school board, the school, and your child's teachers. Here are some examples of general resources. This section brings together all the resources that the school board shares with you. The school also has a section to share different resources or useful links. Here are the resources shared by your child's teachers group by section. If available, the registration tile allows you to register your child for the next school year. When it is the re-enrollment period for the school, if this tile is active, you can complete the information requested for your child's next school year. Once completed, this section shows you the name of the school board attended, when the registration was made, and by whom. Then you can consult the registration request that was submitted. However, 
it may be inactive and a message would tell you only the name of the organization that no action is available. With Mosaic Portal for Parents, take advantage of the centralization of information about your child's academic background in one place and communicate easily with teachers and other school staff. We remind you that Mosaic Portal is a constantly evolving product. Improvements or new features will be added over time. You are now ready to use your portal. Go to portalparents.ca and have a look.